Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is about time we did a little bit more Star Sector, where last we left off, uh, we kicked Brighton in the face because they invaded us, and that's just not a very nice thing to do. So, that's exciting. On the other hand, we do have a few more visitors coming around here, specifically the Hegemony, which I did get a comment that would seem to be actually very correct here. If we had just gone after the area where they were attacking us from, we definitely could have nipped this in the bud. But since we are here, what I'd like to do is a little bit of babysitting real quick for um, our other colony, Cradle over here. It does have, um, I think the stability is finally going back up, so I don't think this place is going to collapse per se. But it could definitely use a little bit of love and support. And uh, it is growing, it is actually pretty close to growing up full speed ahead. So I can't actually remember. I'm pretty sure I can actually add these things without being there. But I do want to give it, because the stability is still low, I do want to help it out just a little bit. So that's what we're going to do first, and that will kill a little bit of time before we have to bat back against the Hegemony, who are supposedly sending not just an AI inspection fleet. I think they were sending an AI inspection fleet before. Yes, they were. Okay, so we got double trouble here. Um... And their space forces are superior and ground forces are evenly matched. Um, yeah, so that is that is team attack the hegemony before they attack you. Probably saying I told you so right now. But it's cool. We have our own plan today. And that plan involves I probably should have bought supplies before we went this way. So let's just do that now. Now we have our home station over here. We have a bunch of... We have five planets in our system. You'd think that would be enough to defend against the hegemony, and you might be right. Can we double tap this? We can. We're not going to recover a kite, rip kite. But we are going to repair our ships because we do have a little bit of repairs here. Um, don't we have... Yeah, we have an arms dealer over here. Any work for me? Um, cloned organs procurement. You need 480 cloned organs. I can't really reliably get that without running back into the core worlds which i don't really want right now so this is where all of our marines are going that's a plus um we could draw from the resource stockpiles i'd love to try to ignore that because we're finally in the black for income how many episodes did that take and uh, our places are only going to get slightly more profitable as we continue to profit here um blah, 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 blah. so where is our um I should know where our other things are. So our variable assembler that's making supplies here. Oh, wait a minute. I remember what I was supposed to do. It's been a, it's been a little while since I've, I've played. There's been some stuff that's been going on. Not all bad. Some of it bad, but not all of it bad. But it is something where it would be like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, you guys. First off, we have storage here. I may have already grabbed the supplies out of here. It looks like I was smart and did just that. So if we look at the colony info over here... We have a Reuter Union HQ. There's no Reuter Union officials here due to them being crappy as hell. So what we're going to do is we are going to give them Das Boot. Shut it down. We'll get $300,000 back. Get out of here, Reuters. You're fine. So now we have three industries left, and we do have some choices here. I already know what I, I want to do here, but I, we do have some choices, and that is worth mentioning. We could get farming because that's that's organics. We do have adequate farmland. Um, I think our food situation is pretty good. Um, we could get light industry if we just wanted to try to pump out a little bit more money. Uh, we could get modular fabricators, I guess, or refining. Any of those things seem okay, but I think I'm just going to stick with... Hey, remember when I needed an extra pager? I think we're just going to uh, upgrade to a variable manufactory. Because that is a very good way to get even more supplies from the assembler. So, yeah. Um, manage the AI core. We could put an alpha in there. Increases commodity output by 25%. We already got that from the beta core, so that's what I really want. Manage VPC. We do have supplies. I think supplies is the right move here. So... I don't really know if we need the academy either. Is there anything else that could be good? If we wanted cloned organs, we could always build um, a medical center. <laughs> um, 
And we have military relays, acts as a patrol HQ, and none is present on the planet. Well, we do have one, right? Yep, we do have one. Um, yeah, didn't think this far ahead, uh, Courier Path. There's, there's a lot of good things that I could build here. I've talked about having a requisition center before. Restoration docks. I, I haven't really played as much with the Senate here. Do I try to put the Vic Revitalization Center here? Will it actually finish building? I may need to go back and just get it from uh, the other people that we saw, and I still didn't get supplies. We are, we are gonna need a few supplies, so. Hey, where'd all those come from? Thanks. That's, ex that's the exact amount of supplies I require to do what I'm doing next. Cool. Okay, so 100,000 is fine. We are going to top up the fuel tanks here. So remember when I said I didn't want to actually um, dive into this. Well, we are. And we do have a lot of weapons. I do think... I, I did get some feedback here that maybe I should get rid of some of my dragon's horde. I could sell it for money. Like, I have a bunch of VPCs and stuff that I'm not using. And I'm probably never going to use. And that seems okay. I mean, we're here. Like, if we sell in the open market right now, boop, 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 you're gone. Um, that's just straight money. Uh, but what do we have in storage? This is, this is going to make somebody cringe here. Look at all these good guns that aren't getting used. Some of everybody's favorite weapons are sitting in here. But yeah, we have, we have so, so many LPCs. Like, too many. We could just sell those. And they don't weigh anything. And we have all of these that we already know. I could just give those to the pirates. That seems like fun. And then I have these, which we've kind of given up on this time. And I still, you know what? We're going to take a Soil Nanites with us. That may be something I could actually do here. Uh, Telamon. That's the retrofit upgrade. Well, I just kind of nixed the ability to retrofit there. Also, these things probably are not going to work. So we're just going to sell them. All right, cool. But we're not going to sell them here. We are going to sell them on the black market. If for some reason the Starlight Cabal comes after me and says, by the way, we want your big planetary bomb thing, I will give it to them just because. It's for the laughs. If they can come up with a good use for it, that's fine. Hey, Mercantile Convoy. Delivering to Karkataka. Well, I don't want to destabilize Karkataka just out of spite. Let's get um, down here. But it's really interesting that you all are... Hey, no real value. That's That sounds like one of our raids here. So we're just going to fly me to another star system and let me play among the space intestines. We have an invasion of Tyul. Now there's a name that I haven't heard in a while. Okay. See if we get launched up here how bad it's going to be. Did I exit too early? No. Like I said, it's been a few days since I played, so everything is going to kind of come back to me just in time for the hegemony to arrive. And then the hegemony will re-arrive, and if I was a good YouTuber, I would edit out some of the stuff that's going on here. Uh, but unfortunately for you all, I am not, so that's just, that's just how it's going to be today. Hey, look, it's a trader delivering ore to somebody else. Good, good, good job, buddy. Alright, so here's Cradle, Cradle, Cradle. I may want to do some other upgrades here. Manage Yield Colony. I mean, they don't have a lot in storage, but they do have a lot of ore. Because mining, mining here is pretty nice. But Bountiful Farmland will work because uh, Soil Nanites are the bee's knees. It's too bad we're not over here when the uh, place is actually going to be built. But let's see. Did I already build a patrol HQ here? I did. Good. Um, not really sure too much of what else I need. I guess I could throw a commodity forge in here, which means I should have brought something over here. I could bring a subjugation core. That seems terrible. Um, deploys patrols and hunt seeker drones to rapidly identify to civilized survivors and offer them a simple ultimatum. Submit or die. Uh, you know, I'm going to actually build this just because this is going to really annoy me. 
it is an increase of hazard rating and it's always going to be a thumb down on the stability so yeah that seems like a worthwhile investment all right while we're here spaceport you can upgrade this to a mega port for 300,000 that's fine that's gonna get us even more things and um, I'm gonna put this in the storage for now. I may not, I may not be able to come back here until later, but I, I promise I will return. All right, so, com directory. Let's look at, uh, look at all these civilized people. We are not transferring this market to another faction. Damn it, portmaster. Okay, so apparently we don't need to drop off supplies right now. Apparently they feel like they're doing a okay. So you know what? If you're doing a okay, and I'm a okay. How's is the hegemony a okay? Ten days until they get back to Zafabak. Wow. Why would you guys want to invade that planet? Is it because it's somehow vulnerable? Huh. I guess technically it's because it has two alpha cores, probably one of which is theirs. It has a privateer base and a military base, and I really should have upgraded the um defenses here so remember when I had all this money before hopefully we don't get a defense penalty while doing that um, orbital station shadow yards battle station shadow yards all the upgrades things we want but for now we're gonna go home so uh, peace between the hegemony and the shadow yards I'm gonna say no but my allies are probably gonna say yes all right so just like that the invasion the invasion has ended. All of my hopes and dreams are dashed. The hegemony may not even... They're no longer hostile. Are they still sending an AI inspection fleet? Huh. Well. That changes the tenor of this episode completely because I just shut down the goddamn Reuter dives. Uh, maybe sending an economic message was enough. Hey, um, you guys are actually coming after me a little bit. That's cute. Ceasefire from Brighton. I'm going to accept that for now just because it lets me um, focus on other things. Since the hegemony is stupid enough to not attack me, I'm just going to attack them. It's like the economic sanctions work. <laughs> that never happens. Uh, as much as as much as we dream because fighting the economy is a way to uh, hit the common people where it hurts so that hopefully the um, people watching their profit margins are like hey I'm no longer making profit oh, are we getting are we getting too on the nose again here um, but yeah we're here we're here you know I guess I'm just gonna go there was something in Hantu Rai that somebody mentioned that I was supposed to do and I really hope I haven't forgotten here. We do have another industry. Okay, so this is this is the plan. We're gonna go here. We I wasn't originally gonna sell on one of these markets, but now I'm going to. Um, because we're just gonna make some fast cash. We're gonna move over. We're gonna put another industry on Hantu Raya. It's fun. These things can go. That's not the worst price I've ever seen in my life. So that'll that'll help us with the invasion. We don't need luxury goods. We're gonna invade you with luxury goods. No, thank you. Um, that's actually a better price, and that's a better price. So those are fine. We still receive money. We don't have all the money, but we still receive money. Okay, let's do the thing that everyone's been begging for then. All of these, I could totally, I could go through these one by one. That's something I should do off camera. But I already know every single one of these. So we can sell all of them. We're not going to do anything with this as much as it hurts. So we're going to get rid of those. We are just cashing out. Selling this isn't going to do shit. Yeah, the retrofit blueprints are also not going to do shit. So, and there's there's even more supplies. So let's just sell all the things. I feel like maybe I should hold on to that, but we're not okay. Um, or but I am. Open market. Let's see how much money we are sitting on right now. 
If I did this on a black market, I could keep even more money, but we'll take that much here. And that's just for shit I already know. Now, I still actually need to build a planet. Ooh. Cannot, cannot build a structure here because we're on the wrong page. I still need to build a planetary shield here. That's fine. But we're going to invest in our other colonies here. We're going to be good. We're going to be smart. We're going to go to war with Diabolavionics. Sure, why not? Try attack. Fuck them. Why are they still even in this game? Um, Hanturaya. Col Adventures in Colony Management. I know y'all love me jumping between planets here. So the Cryo Revival Facility is still Cryo Reviving people. The Void Extractor is a super busted, really good um, thing here that I should assign an AI core to, but I don't have one on me. Rip. Oh boy, I've said before, I've had like a whole plan of what I'm going to do here. And now I don't remember shit. So... We need an industry here. We could do fuel production. That's a terrible idea. There's an atmosphere. Massive solar corrector collectors is cute, but we don't really get anything out of it. Modular fabricators would be good if I had stuff here. Straight up mining could be okay. Straight up refining could be okay. Heavy industry will probably just create pollution. Okay, that's um that's rich materials, right? So transmutonic ore. The thing is, is that with the um with the void extractor, mining is du duplicative. In other words, we're not gonna get any more benefit out of it compared to just having the void extractor there. So we need something else. So we're just gonna do refining. I mean, we're literally just trying to make some cash right now. And maybe if I had another um. What's the word I'm looking for? Can we actually upgrade you to a mega port? That's 300,000, that's fine. Anything for stability, my life for ire. All right. Always more things I could do, but we're here now. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna actually run back real quick and get the Marines, and then we're just gonna knock on the hegemony's door and say, hey guys, it's time it's time for you all to be um, done we have 14 high value prisoners we are just letting them roll around here right now we're gonna take all the Marines that's a lot of Marines we actually gonna take all the crew too because we, we need more crew we are probably gonna lose some people here um, that's not what I wanted to do but that's fine these marines used to be much better trained. We'll see how that goes. Um, cool. So, Hegemony, you're stupid enough to not attack me. Let's just call this an attack of opportunity. Probably can't name this episode that because I'm pretty sure I already have an episode by the same name. Legio, why are we friends? I don't understand. Diplomacy's weird. And I saw a sensor ping back here. What could this be? Hopefully it's one of ours, but it might not be. It's one of ours. Oh, look. Somebody built a bunch of Argo ships. That is an amazing, that is an amazing privateer fleet. That is going to do so much damage and ruin somebody's day. All right. So once again, I remember once upon a time. Ooh, who are you? Um... Um, hegemony. I thought the AI inspection was off. Apparently it's not off. Well, good news, everybody. War's back on. <laughs> okay, um, this is a big fleet and this is a big fleet. We could fight them in our system, but we're just going to fight them right now. Like, that is, that is a shit ton of ships, and technically I should have all of my support around me. But we're just, we're just going to do this now. We're just going to dance. We are just going to do staggered deployment with our big ships, and we're going to have a great time doing it. Okay. So, you're going to go here. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. And hopefully we're not putting the Sanctus out of the fight. Okay. 
And I should probably unpause. I should probably remember how to play this game. Okay. So we're here. Stagger deployment is a go. Let's send our other big shit and some of our other shit. Would you like some cash prizes today? You bet. Probably need to send one less um, big ship here. I like the margin call in as kind of a cleanup crew. So we need... Um... Ugh, I, I do want to bring the whiskey, the outworks thing. So we're going to... Do we bench Steph Curry? Or we bench this one for now because we need... We need a few more frigates. It's fair to say that having some tiny things to shoot really messes with the AI some. So let's go ahead and do a heavy escort here, heavy escort here, heavy escort here, and we will let the rest of the chips fall where they may. Like I said, this is this is the hegemony. We we made peace with them, but we're not peaceable with them and we are still going double speed aren't we it's like I don't remember this game being that fast okay so we have one two three contact all right all aboard the dinosaur train god that was actually a surprisingly watchable show for all of the other shit my kids watched leave it leave it to PBS to be um to make things that are at least pretty palatable. Oh my god, Joe Steele. Joe Steele, you might have a you might have a problem. And you are doing the right thing by backing the F up. Because nobody wants to get bombed that many times. And did I just hit myself with Project Casimir? That would be the functional equivalent of coming back after playing a few days later and uh, rolling a one immediately. Okay, so you guys are you guys are gonna be super best friends and take out that Falcon. That's a that's a DKP plus. And now we're gonna have to just um, try not to get wrecked. Cause we've we've got a lot of interesting bullets here. It's really fascinating what our strategy has turned into. We are just like literally we're doing the surround on them. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to get your butt up here. I know you're sending like little fighter shits over here. Let's just take a look real quick. Look at all these fighters that could be not attacking a frigate. All right, so you're you're gonna die in just a moment. So there's a lamprey, and there are random ass missiles. I love the Rosen Ritter tiny missiles that just fly and bounce off of things. The physics is so interesting. And I, I agree with you all that have said that there's some really weird shit flying across the screen. Some of these fights, I, I can't explain it either anymore. Like, there's a missile just doing a bunch of loops here. I don't, I don't know. I don't question this shit anymore. It's, it's big space battles in space. This is, this is why we're here. It's really exciting to see, um... Other much more prominent YouTubers, people that I watch regularly just for fun for other things, um, pick up Star Sector and play Star Sector, and then you see a video that's like, here's a big space battle, and all I can think of is, yes, it's big for the vanilla game, but oh, the, the joy of modding lets things get really huge. Like, unfortunately, Joe Steele is flexing himself all to hell again, and we have... Okay, well, this we're about to have some deployment points because you are having a bad day. Uh, margin call, and do we have... Uh, yeah, let's bring Gator Milk out here, too. Seems fine. So, for being a ship that's like that, it certainly is having some issues. Okay, let's, let's funnel tunnel you guys back in here. And they're, they're just forming a big old line. We need to kind of wedge over here in fact you guys can just go after this and if we kind of push this way the the legions are not a threat they just they just sit there and soak damage so we should be able to take them out pretty well the aggressors are definitely an issue 
But yeah. And Joe Steele once again taking taking fire. Not my favorite. But yeah, if we can just get like some more hats on some of this shit. We can go a long way to making the galaxy a, the Persian sector a better place. But yeah, I'm in a destroyer. 1v something. Okay, why'd you fire some missiles at me? That's just rude. But yeah, Joe Steele, who has a reckless AI, is um, doing good. And here is this big legion versus a few frigates. A a Brighton. I think that's. I think that is a Brighton Glimmer. One of the Rosenritter little dudes. And moi. And whoa, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay, I will take the hits for a second. It's fine. Ah, adventures and teleporting. So I'm gonna die here in a second. It's been really nice. It's. I'm really glad that um, we're doing the permadeath version of this run, because I just like totally failed at teleporting there, and I can't tell you why. But I will say that I, I, I will take full credit for turning that guy around. So cool. Um, who can we bring that's fast? We'll bring the Donic in here, and the prayer. So we've lost a few things, and one of them was because of my patented irresponsibility, but it's cool. I, I did try. I was trying to teleport the wrong, the correct direction. It just didn't work out. So you guys, while we're here staring at the map, that is not going as well as I'd like all of a sudden. Who is over here? Is that just Waypoint Epsilon? Um, okay, we're going to cancel this order, and we are just going to... You know, we're all we're all here and we're all friends. Let's get over here. You get on this. And you guys just push up here and we should be able to uh, cluster them. These guys have a bunch of armor and shit, but they're uh, they're not very super dangerous. Okay. Of course, letting that one legion recover does hurt a little bit. So there's there's my pod. In case you're wondering how things work in space. And I have no idea what just exploded there. But something definitely just exploded. So the Fimble Winter, as expected, is dead. Um, let's bring let's bring a few of the little little buddies out. And this is where once again, if I was fighting this in my home system, we'd have like repairs all available and shit. And we'd feel really good about ourselves. And instead, we get to do shit like this, where the uh, margin call is uh, getting obliterated. Once again, it's the aggressors that pose a danger here, so... And now we've got a really huge line that's just kind of like this. Can we clear everything? No, not like that. Okay, you guys are all going over here. We need y'all to stop. We need you to go in. We need you to go after this. And we need everybody else to kind of hold a little bit. Because, like, that Legion's dead, but we're getting torn up. And last thing I want to do is lose a second ship because I teleport incorrectly. All right, so their line, our line. We've taken out way more deployment points than they have, but they've gotten a few more scalps than I'd like, especially when we have ships like this that just hang out and take fire. Let's actually retreat you. Because that's what we should have been doing the whole time. If I was a responsible fleet fleet commander, I could have avoided some of this. Unfortunately, this is me we're talking about, and... Responsibility is not my first name, not my middle name. Finally, we're getting some damage on the one of the aggressors. Oh, man. That's a little painful. Okay, what are you doing? And why aren't you going, like, up and into the back? Because they're, they're getting a little bit more redeployment fun, too. So are we. You know what? Let's just bring all of you guys around back. That seems fine. We have we have the trap set pretty much. As 
long as I don't take out my uh, friend's shields. Here we go. So I love this whole hegemony, send out your little ships to defend your big ships thing. Ugh, man. Would really like the Death Flower to not overextend right now. I kind of feel like that's what I've ordered it to do. So let's put you, let's have you fall back just a little bit. We got six points left. It's fine. How's this situation looking? So we got a bunch of little things up here. Uh, Tony Leapart, Leopard is going to go crazy up there. I am accidentally flying into Amora and into the line of fire again. Those are some scary guns. Got to remember that I'm not the biggest ship in the world. I am only as good as what I can support. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. So I like the fallback here. By the way, credit where credit is due. I forget if that's the ads or the litany, but somebody somebody's taking some shots. That'd be the prayer, by the way. Ads is the fleet name of the ship. Alright, so we've got all you guys up here. I kind of just want to ignore it. Let's cancel these again. Like, I knew I was setting myself up for this kind of fight, and it's fun. Do not get me wrong. I'm having a good time. But we need we need to get in here, and we need to get in here now. So we're going to try to ignore this top side here as best we can, and just send everybody... Let's send them on this. I think that's fine. Like, you guys are all supporting each other. It's gross. But it gives us... A little bit more movement. We have a lot left in the tank behind us. And I can support all of my friends just like this. Because we're... We have... I've specifically chosen missiles that have very high capacity or n limitless capacity. So that when we have longer engagements, eventually they will run out. They will run out of shots. Okay, we got a few more deployment points. I'm going to wait to fight, to bring in a big thing. But yeah, here we go. We have our we have Captain Distractor over here. Wow, did I miss that? Oh my god. All right. Got it. Got it on the rebound. So we can take on all their little shit over here and it's fine. Oh my god. I just You know, that's the second time in like 3 episodes. Where I'm like, hey, that bright red thing, that's a Reaper torpedo, isn't it? And I'm just staring at it. And then it just hits me in the face. It's like, it doesn't it doesn't need to be that way. So you're marked for death. That's awesome. Okay. So now that we're playing the game called Ignore the Shit that's coming up here, we now need to take this on. Because right now, these things are actually kind of threatening us around. We have 29 points. Hey, Star Skipper cost 28 points. Isn't that convenient? All right. This is going to be an interesting combat log to look at after because I definitely could have played this safer. But it's okay. We're we are fighting two fleets. This was an AI inspection fleet that was told to be um, very, very powerful. And it is living up to that name. So respect where respect is due. I only prepare so hard for the hegemony because they are a worthy opponent. But ultimately, this isn't their sector, it's ours. Or it's going to be. And Tony, I am actually going to send you over here. You can start having fun. And you guys can support Tony. You can too. Donix up here, Star Skipper's doing its best. And as long as we don't lose some of these things. Like, this is a dangerous jump, but I've, I know we've got to be really aggressive here. Like, super aggressive. Now, this stupid venture is in my shot. 
so that's fine. But yeah, we wanna we wanna take these things out. And then get back here. Wow, you didn't die. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna change in just a second. Oh no. Okay, so not only did you not die, but we're actually gonna lose the Star Eater again. Should be able to recover it, but damn. I guess at this point we gotta fall back a little bit. All right. Fall back, reset, try again. Because we're gonna need to reinforce here. But yeah, that was, I thought we'd be okay. Let's have you do a direct retreat as best you can. I don't know if you're gonna make it out in time. Please direct retreat, please direct retreat. That's not a direct retreat. There we go, whoa! That was amazing. From Steph Curry! <laughs> Chef Curry hitting from the backside to knock out some like real shit. Once again, run, Star Eater. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know why you're not retreating. I need you to get out of this fight. Okay. Once again, direct retreat should be just straight up run away. And instead it's like, no, nah, I'm going to keep fighting. Wow, so I don't know how I just passed through all that. Oh, that's fine. So you're here and you're running backwards. Um, this aggressor is still getting targeted for some reason. Let's anchor you over here. This is fine. Okay. Once again, the dumbest direct retreat I have ever seen. And it's working out very well. So, uh, Rock Forehead, you are terrible at following orders. And as long as the ship doesn't die, I'm all for it. But I have I have some concerns. Okay, can we can we do this now? Please. Once again, using your whole health bar is a strategy. So yeah, it's it's you're trying. That's a that's a dead hammer head. Okay, so now we're here. We do have the Vindicator onslaught. We need to cancel this order. So we're in a bit of a pickle, but not for long. We're just, we're just gonna, you know what, let's cancel this. And instead, we're just gonna reset, we're just gonna full reset right here, except for you, get the fuck out. And, um, you guys finish this thing off. I don't know why I'm holding shift to do that, but... Just wanna make sure we don't accidentally leave behind. So there's the Fimble Winter now going after the wrong thing. That's lovely. Three command points left. And we're over here. And we're flying. Star Eaters retreated. We got 110 points. Let's make them count. I think this will turn the tide pretty, pretty hard. And um, we can probably bring in Lobster Magnet and Inverse Square. Sure. Okay, so we're just we're just gonna reset. This is round two, and um, so far most of my ships are doing okay. Combat readiness not as much of a concern. We are gonna have a gross pile here. We just lost the Donic and something else. Well, damn. Okay. Now it's now it's a little real er. So Sanctus got put out of position and. Um, well, we will get our we will get our revenge here in just a second. All right, so everybody, get up here. Can't take this shit lightly. Could have come in with a better plan. I thought I had the surround, 
and then they the problem with my surround i think was that they kept being able to just reinforce but see now they're all really spread out we didn't really use our mobility as well as we can now so we're just gonna like take this on put you all right here i'm actually gonna have you retreat as well and um we're gonna Let's bring you guys up here. Because the onslaught's bad, the other thing's bad. And where am I right now? I'm right here. Half a life bar. But we'll be able to flank him again. Okay, so you're you're running and getting a little surrounded. That's not my favorite. But we do have a shit ton of missiles coming over here, so that's a plus. Okay, try not to teleport myself directly into the enemy line of fire. But I'm gonna do it anyway, I guess. So. Here's, here's the bad. We need to get you guys over here. We're gonna play keep away. From this. We're going to send all of you all up here. Which means we abandon this for now. Okay. Like, we don't we don't need you getting shot all to hell. And unfortunately, I think that's what's going to happen because we have... We have a bunch of shit converging all at once with all every single autocannon in the game actually about to get fluxed out. I am making a sacrificial play here to try to save my friend Joe Steele who's taken a lot of damage or he's taken a lot of hits but not taken a lot of damage. Let's let's give some true facts here. So I guess one of the things is can I harass this guy? That was a bad plan. All right. So we're backing it backing it up. And now we just got now we just have to pick an engagement. Where is the weakest part of their line? This is obviously their strength. We want to take it in from the top. So let's crash right here. Try to have you guys hold position for a little bit. See how this goes, which means I'm going to be part of team hold. Maybe team ram my friend. My bad. Okay, gotta watch. Gotta watch my hull strength here. Okay, so we have successfully reorganized we actually have a really good shot on this guy like if we just turn right now and take him on I think we kill him so that's what we're gonna do like we just we just need little ships into the fold here kitty time has died no how many more little ships do we have? No, I think we need something more substantial like Thornbush and um, Snippy Snappy. Let's bring you out here too. Well, it's a good thing we have that outpost with all those supplies up here because we're gonna need we're gonna need some resupply here in just a little bit. Yeah, just like that, we have... I'm trying to hold the line down here. I'm going to send some distracting, suppressive fire and hopefully not get killed by these little space drones. We are letting ourselves get out of position here, but we really want to take on this thing. Unfortunately, it looks like... Okay, we're getting, we're getting some shots in here. So as soon as that... Um, whatever it's called, the O-ship... The oh shit, oh ship. 
as soon as it's there, we're gonna have a good day. So, there we go. I am currently not doing so great on my hull. Alright. Definitely not doing great on my hull. Definitely still not doing great on my hull. Yeah, I'm about to fade into black again if I'm not careful here. So yeah, the good news is that we have 20 more deployment points, and this cost exactly 20. The bad news is that we're not doing as much damage as I'd like. And you're all the way over here. So since we're not hurting you right now, and see, now we are surrounded, which is exciting. See, before we were able to just pick a target and take it out, now we're kind of not in that position because, let's see here, if we look here again, you know what, I got to commit to this. And at the same time, let's get rid of this node. And this one. And this one. And all you guys, instead of getting spread to the east, we need to take on this. So we kind of need to go two for one here. Because this thing is this thing is turned. This onslaught is turned. That's what it's called. We have Darrow of Lycos coming off the bench. Um, unfortunately, we're having some other serious problems. I have almost no life left and somehow decided to teleport. It's not my favorite play. There we go. Okay, Wingless Pigeon is dead. Alright. I don't know how I teleported there, but we're going um, to take the passenger seat here now and go. So this onslaught is um, taking some damage. We just need to keep the pressure on, and somehow we are not doing a very good job of that. Alright. Well, the good news is that if we make it run, it'll run. The bad news is that we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot left to throw. So we're gonna try this. Like we're getting pincered all to hell right now. So this is, these are the two fights we need to see here. We need to look over here real quick. So this is where a lot of our damage is going to be coming from. So this one's down. So this squad's doing good. Fuck everything. Yes, I know. Onslaught over here is getting worked. We need to now have all of you all all of you all take on this thing i know we have the mora and the other shit and it's all very exciting let's get back over here to the star skipper the ship that i love one of the posts on the discord of just like the star skipper is fine with all of its demods and it's just like a truck that's just dead in the water but yeah we're um this is this is fucking serious this is just, this is war at this point. Okay. But I think we're going to out-pressure it. There we go. Star Skipper with the kill. Can't say it's not exciting, that's for sure. Alright. Okay, well, we're here. And, um, now we regroup. We have 19 more deployment points left. Let's just make them count. We got all these things over here. Most of their most of their biggies are gone. Let's watch the odd ordeal for a little bit. Like we need to get you guys over here.
Yeah, this is definitely not the episode I was expecting to have. That's for fucking sure. All right, meanwhile, we've got to make sure you guys get out of there. I love that we haven't lost any defense there yet. Bobby B doing a great job. There's the thorn bush. I did say we need something more substantial. The thorn bush is, in fact, a very defensive-oriented ship. I promise you, it is. Um, please believe me. This aggressor is getting aggressed. And finally, we're doing kind of probably what I should have done about 20 minutes ago. So that's cool. Um, yeah, this has been a really long fight. But it's okay. It's really nice to know that ev that we're not just walking through all of Star Sector. That Sure, it is a little bit of misplay on my end. Um, I'm not going to be perfect every bit of the time. But the game can still throw a challenge, such as... This is the AI Hegemony Inspection Fleet for AI cores. Let's not talk about what the Hegemony does with their AI cores. And we're going to have to repair before we um, go after their shit here, so it's fine. But look, we uh, defended against it all by ourselves, so now we are all crowded here. That is a tyrant. The tyrant is probably the final boss here. So let's... Um, Let's shimmy over this way. Let's get you in the back a little bit. Let's get you up here. See if we can take on some griffins. How far away is this tyrant? It's pretty far, but it's coming. I like the tyrant as a ship. I think it's pretty nice, but we need to get we need to reposition here because we don't have we are we are almost out of ships. Which means I need to watch somebody. Let's watch you. The Neiman Lion. Yeah, now we're getting combat readiness issues too, which is fun. And yeah, I could have contributed a lot more to this fight if I just hadn't mismanaged my flying, which is a little annoying, but you know, you, you live with it. You live by the teleport, you die by the teleport. And as long as the Neiman Lion just keeps soaking up the fire here, this is a super defensive ship. Probably a main tank I should have sent earlier out. So now we're now we're moving. I don't I don't know what you guys are doing. Whatever it is, y'all need to stop. Let's just go after the Griffin here. Just just pick a body and go, guys. Just pick pick a body and kill it. And uh, we're gonna speed this up just a touch. Just because, once again, I was not expecting this to be a one-fight episode where we're sitting here all day, but sometimes that's how it is. And that's pretty exciting. So, we're going to lose a few more things in the run-up to taking this shit on, but it's fine. And then this is where I do the wolf pack thing, and we just send all the little guys on to the tyrant. And we kill these eliminate orders. And uh, once we take on the Tyrant, that's pretty much the fight. So... I know that's the worst use of... Uh, deployment point, or command point, but here we go. So Griffins are going to be ungriffed. And then we have our little guys going after the Tyrant already. So here we go. One last round. We have the better ships. We sort of maybe have the better tactics. Allegedly. We have a lot of bright shit flying everywhere. And then the Agnes is uh, having not the best day of its life, but this is fine. And we can't retreat anybody else. We gotta, we gotta do this fight. So this is what happens when you let things go super speed fast. Everybody's getting killed. We have officially like routed them. They're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. But the problem is the strength of my group is to hold them together. I am actually going to retreat the Devil's Advocate. It's um, we've we've lost enough ships for one day. 
Um, the Star Skipper's probably going to be okay. We need to probably retreat you as well. If we can. Alright. And we are at zero combat readiness for some of this shit. So, we're really taking on the Tyrant with a bunch of tiny ships. You bet. That was not what I meant to have happen, but here we are. Well, let's see how's a bunch of tiny ships versus a Tyrant doing. Probably okay. Wolfpack Tactics is a legit tactic. Unfortunately... It's going to take some serious work from the AI here to make this happen, and I think we're about to lose one ship that we were watching, so that's a problem. That Tyrant's trying to run, and it might succeed. Okay, Foppering and Wim is foppering and crying. So there's Ugg, doing Ugg things. Finally, we got someone in the back. Do we have anybody else that we can deploy? Almost, it's almost everybody. But we've got, we've got this. We're gonna turn it on to full assault. But we've got this. It's a good thing we're not having to spend a million credits to repair everything, right? But look at that, we are sending in the clowns against some of this big shit. And we may be able to take out the Tyrant before this is all said and done. It is It is trying to run. And is it gonna succeed? No, we, we disabled its engines, that's a plus. We just gotta get the damage in, there we go. Black Agata, you're done. Well, how much crew did I lose? 2,300. Okay, so we lost our fleet, they lost their fleet. Damn, well let's see here, peak performance time, overclock targeting. That's a really bad buff to have for a hegemony fight, but there we go. We did manage to take them all on. Oh wait, what? So they're trying to run away. They're trying to reorganize for another fight, are you serious? Okay, well, I don't really have time for this, but here we go. Um, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in, you're in. Who has combat readiness? You guys do. All right. And I guess you're okay. Fun times. All right. We should be able to have this. Got to gotta get my camera controls correct here, so. I got these three things. Are we fighting mostly fuel tankers or mostly shit that just ran away from the last fight? Because if it's mostly shit that, we, that just ran from the last fight, then we've definitely got this. See, like, there we go. It's, it's going to die. Except for maybe that griffin. It's going to die before it gets there, so. Yeah, full assault that shit. That's for sure. Like we still have we still have some of our biggies up here. Versus like a tiny mora. Okay. I mean good good for them for like trying to commit to we're really, really, really gonna inspect your AI, we promise. But yeah, this is um 
This is like this is this is fun. I think we win. I don't know who's left. This guy. Remember when the hegemony we could have just taken them out? And instead we had to fight and lose thousands of thousands of crew people. Ugh, alright. And they're still trying to run away. We are going to pursue them. Second in command's gonna do it, and we're gonna um, send in some things, take as much as we can. Hope that we can permanently recover some stuff. I forgot to drop off those ships, so that's terrible. Ship recovery, first off, anything with a story point. Not you, and sorry Gator Milk, you had a good run. Yacht Club had a good run. But we need to get back our big shit. Okay, that's the most dead ships I've ever had. Hooray. But we will recover. Alright, what do you know? War war with the hegemony again. Pick through the wreckage. There better be some good ass supplies there. Okay, so we are at a crew shortfall and a supply overage. We have 5,000 supplies, that's probably okay. And a Vengeance Fleet coming in 14 days, I bet. That was a million experience worth of a fight. Yeah, that seems about right. Scoob and Cug Hungry Dino are both ready to level up. We're gonna have to pick some ships to not have crewed right now. Um, and of course, the first thing I pick is one of the AI-controlled ships. So you're offline and... You're offline. Didn't use as much crew as I expected. Interesting. In that case, you're offline. There we go. So now we have crew. We're repairing. Apparently, Foppery and Wim Foppery to all the way out. Um, yeah, but overall, that was interesting. And we are going to need to lick our wounds a little bit. I could actually turn back around to Green real quick and just do that. But I think... Uh, you know, Green's right here. We're going to get the Vengeance Fleet anyway. So, since they're gone... Yeah, I think the play is going to be to go back home. Just recover, get our shit together, get more crew since we have all that at the resource bases right there. And that means we'll have to fight a hegemony vengeance fleet, vengeance fleet on the way. But yeah, Mikula and Oberstein, we're going to take them both out. That'll do it for this one. This is Asher with a very different episode of Star Sector than I expected when I first started recording. That's the joy of this game. Sometimes you definitely don't know what you're getting. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your thoughts and levy your complaints to replace me with someone else to run this game who knows how to run it in the comments. And I will see you all next time. Take care.